Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Bujo. Today we're going to set up the month of December. And in addition to the monthly view, there'll be about six other double page spreads. So, but we're going to start out with the monthly view. And instead of just listing the numbers straight down the page, I thought I would shape it like a Christmas tree. So you just start over on the far left and go out one box as you go down each row, except for when you get to the numbers that I've highlighted on the left for you. And then when you're done, you get the shape of a Christmas tree or half of a tree. I'm really excited to use this this month. It, it just looks so cool. And then for the days of the week, I decided to use this green with the fabric Castell. It's number 170. And I am skipping Mondays. I'm going to do that in a red so it'll make it easy to spot where a new week begins. And then a brown for down on the trunk. So to give that little chance to dry, we're going to start a wreath over here. And now we can color in our ornament days, which is every Monday. And then just trace the days of the month with the green. This is a zebra mild liner. And then we're going to color it in. And then you just write your appointments to the right or the left of the numbers. As you get down in the bottom of the month, if you have a lot going on, you can write your appointment right over your green tree. But I just love how it looks. It's so cute. And these two Tombos together, I think, are just beautiful. They're, I've used them for all of my spreads. I didn't bother to pick a different red or green. So I like the combo together. Now, if you want to do a wreath, you just do uh, some lines in a circle. And then off of each line, just do little branches. And all you're doing is just flicking the pin out and change direction when you get like to the bottom. So you're just kind of overlapping all these different branches. And then you put your darker color on top to get some more definition. And it's a super easy but beautiful wreath, I think. Just looking to see what all I wanted to include on my page. And then I just did a free form like bubble letter. And I wanted it to be kind of, um, not messy, but I didn't want precise, perfectly done. So I, I like the look of this page. And I think this is my favorite monthly layout by far on all of the ones I've done. If you want to add some drop shadow to your letters, just stick to one side of it. I'm staying to the left of each letter and then on the underside of each. So and that's how you get your drop shadow. This is the All Seasons Pack by Paper Studio. I believe I got that at, that would have been a Hobby Lobby. And it's a little Christmas light washi. <laughs> that was just setting up my habit tracker. That went pretty quick. I'm also doing something different with this this month. I decided to have some fun. And in the center of it is going to be a Christmas tree. And as I do my little task each day, if it lands inside the tree, I will color the square green. And if it's uh, in the ribbon, it'll be red. In the background will be like a cream color and then if the box is like half and half then I'll just do it I'll split the color on a diagonal so this will really motivate me to get these things done so I can have a pretty tree at the end of the month so there's my background color of my tree the trunk and the ribbon and I'm just noting down what colors I'm going to use. I did change the order of how I normally list these 
to do. All, all of these tasks I don't expect to do daily. Some of them are just kind of a, when was the last time. So I move those out of the way. So the bulk of the daily stuff is in the center. And then this is another washi pack. I looked this one up and I couldn't find it. But this is the uh, Christmas one from Michaels. And these are on sale for $2.50 right now. So if anybody's looking for some washies, check out Michaels. They've got really good little foil packs. And I put these on the top of my tracker pages so I can easily find them throughout the month. And since the green and the black are so close together, I wanted to draw my tree on here again so I know which boxes to split. So I'm excited to do that. It's motivating me to get things done so I can color in my tree. Okay, so now we're moving on to four lines a day. This is just for journaling either about the day or random thoughts or reminders or whatever and apparently I forgot how to count so yeah I went from odds to evens and I decided to just change those numbers and continue on and I get extra space for Christmas Day and on these if it's a red number then I'll write with the green pen and green number I'll write with the red pen so it's easy to distinguish the days the different entries between and this is that same tube of washi tape I think I got this this Hob Hobby Lobby or Michaels but it's got some really cute ones in there I looked online to find it and I couldn't find it again so I'm sorry but these little recollections ones, these are definitely at Michael's and they're on sale for $2.50. They're really cute, I love them. Okay, moving right along, we're now on my sleep log and Fitbit trackers. And here's how it looks when it's all done. I've got the hours of the day up at the top, I'm starting at nine o'clock at night and just marking off what my target sleep time is. And that's not when I go to bed, it's when I actually sleep. It's tracked by my Fitbit. And I like seeing this because it can show me, like if I have an off day, sometimes it's related to the amount of sleep that you get. So it's a good motivator for me to try and hit my uh, bedtimes and get up on time. Just a simple ribbon with some lines at the end to make it look like it's woven through the page and then thicken it up. So I'll be doing my sleep hours with the green and then on the Fitbit side I'll be recording my numbers with red and green. And here is for the overflow page. This has become one of my favorite pages to do because it's pretty much open. It can be anything, any kind of decoration that I want. And I decided to go kind of simple. I wasn't sure what to do. This I just designed on the fly thinking of, okay, what's easy and quick to draw. So I did some holly leaves. And then it seemed obvious to put the red berries with them. So we get three in each corner. And then I wanted something to just kind of connect it. First, I was just gonna do some red squiggles. And I thought, oh, I'll fill these in. It looks like a ribbon. And this page, I love it when it, it's done. It's just so striking and very festive. It's super quick to do, which is always nice. To make everything pop, just go in and outline it. And add a little stem, like, or stem in the holly leaf. I don't know what you would call it, but you know what it is. And then this is the Tombow Fujinosuke Fuji pen. It's a soft tip. When I went to the next page, I didn't realize I had taken my letters all up by a line. So 
when the book is straight, it becomes obvious that the word is not. So I just decided to roll with it with the line underneath and followed it and decided to make it look intentional just by changing the shape of my line. And I think it worked. I will be doing, when we finish, we'll flip back and look at these pages it's slower. I, I realize it's going kind of quick. And this is um, for my videos. Just keeping track of uh, when I publish everything, put up videos. I'm trying to get on a consistent schedule. Yeah, trying, but hey, at least the videos are going up. And normally I skip over this, but I thought I would just draw it out because I rarely do a calendar. And I thought it might be nice to show that you can put the days of the week all in a row, even if you have some days that jut out of the top. So there we go. Here's my month of December. I just love how it turned out. And yeah, play with those monthly views. I'm going to be doing this for all next year. I'm going to try and come up with something completely original or different compared to what I've been doing. So definitely keep an eye out. I'm looking forward to playing with the pages. See what I can come up with. If I meet my goal, it'll be green. If I miss it, it'll be red. So there's going to be a lot of red on the right. So I'm going to do my sleep log in green on the left. And here's just for random thoughts and whatnot. I love how that turned out. And here's for my videos. Speaking of which, be sure and subscribe if you'd like to see more and you haven't done it yet. I hope y'all have a wonderful Christmas. And I'll be back with another weekly layout. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.